KP's video news, y'all. It's KP's video news, y'all. It's KP's video news, y'all. It's KP's video news, y'all. That's right, folks. KP's video news. So don't forget to hit that notification bell up top. Don't forget to hit that red and white subscription button right there. Don't forget to do that. You know, first things first. Don't forget to like, you know, and, uh, also share this article you have to share this article with your family and friends without a doubt this is very very important and uh so i don't very often do op-ed type of uh articles but this particular article that i'm doing today i am going to basically uh tell you observe and give you what i have observed in the in the media so without without a doubt and without delay uh let me get started here so as you see the title of this article it says brainwash black youth now it's several directions that i could go with this but the main topic that i want i want to talk about today is the uh youth that i see that are, i guess probably between the ages of 18 and 25 or 26 that are of voting age young youth that are being manipulated i truly believe manipulated by the russian bots and the russian trolls that are scouring over the over the internet and they're placing these little landmines all over the all over the internet all over youtube facebook instagram and any other social media that you can think of i'm seeing a disturbing trend a very disturbing trend going on on social media that has young black people that are talking about how they like trump so I, you know, I, I said, I, I saw the first one. I said, well, let me, let me, you know, I watched it. And then I noticed the pattern that all of these videos pretty much had the same theme. And so just looking at that, it's, it looked mighty suspicious to me that all of a sudden out of the sky blue, these videos start popping up talking about how these people, young people, young black people, are like trump are attracted to trump and so obviously out of my with my curiosity i'm trying to figure out well what's the deal here what's going on here and so uh after watching that first video and the second video and the third video i discovered that they all had the same answers when it when people would ask them well why do you like trump the first thing they would say was PPE loans, PPE money. Now, first of all, let me get this clear. Let me make this clear. No president has ever had any control over the finances of the United States. Zero. Not one penny. Not one red cent does any, any president have control over the finances of this country. Not one. Let me get that straight. Congress, the Senate, and the House, they're the ones that have control over the finances of the United States. It's always been that way. Congress has control over the money, and uh president is involved, is in the executive branch. They're they're the ones that are supposed to be making decisions, but even then, the decisions that they make, they cannot uh just do something without it getting approved by congress by the house and the senate so trump did not give you one dime because he didn't have power the power to give you money do you think that if trump had the power over money in this country uh what he would have did he would have robbed the piggy bank blind he would have took every dime 
every single dime he would have took it and put it in his pocket if he had control over the finances of this country. So let that sink in. That's the first issue. Congress is the one that has control over the money. They're the ones that issued the PPE loan uh, loans. They're the ones that issued out the uh, the the COVID the COVID emergency funds. They're the ones that issued out the uh, the funds that that people were able to get uh, from the uh, internal revenue. So they're the ones that have control over the purse. Congress, not the president. President has zero. I can't state this enough. He has zero control over finances. Zero. So your parents, I know you were happy. Your mother or your, your mother was able to get that extra money because she had like four or five kids. So she was able to get a check every month. Your girlfriend was able to get that check every month because she had a baby. You was able to get that little money. So that little money, and then eventually it stopped because of the whole, they had to say, well, the uh, uh, the pandemic was over, so they stopped the funds. So what are you doing now? Now you want to blame, you want to blame Biden. Oh, Biden, pre president, he stopped the funds. <laughs> yeah, right. He didn't have the power to stop the funds. Okay, like I just stated. Congress is the one that's in control of the money. You see right now they're having uh, debates trying to see about the budget, the budget in the United States. And so, therefore, that lets you know this is a history lesson for you. Uh, Congress is control of the money. They're, they're going back and forth over the budget right now. And if they say that they don't get things done within the next few days, then uh, the government is going to is going to be unfunded because. They haven't done their job. They haven't done what they're supposed to do because they're so busy bickering about who's going to be the speaker of the house. They're stabbing each other in the back. And, you know, so it's it's like the, the country uh, doesn't really have a speaker of the house at this particular time. So it's a dysfunctional country. Uh, not only that, you have a uh, you got one person uh, involved in government that has been holding up hundreds of appointments, military appointments, uh, hundreds of military people that should be moved and they should be given new new assignments and new jobs. They haven't been able to get them because you got one politician. Got that guy Tuberville over there has been holding up everything. Okay, so let me get back on track. Anyway. Back to so that was that was the first thing, Trump, PPE loan money, COVID money, Trump didn't give you a dime because he doesn't have the power to give you money. Second thing is the kids are saying, "Oh man, Trump got arrested. Oh man, Trump is a gangster. He got arrested. Oh, so now you looking at Trump like he's some type of uh, like a rapper or something like a rapper." They would put a record out, man, and he's like, oh, man, he got arrested. So that'll make his record go platinum overnight. They're like, oh, man, we got to go get Snoop's record, man. He got arrested for murder. Oh, um, so that makes him. So it's like everything bad is good in the eyesight of uh, youth nowadays. I'm not going to say all youth because we got some smart kids that are going to college that are doing the right thing that know the difference between right and wrong. But it's that subset, that little group of people that have you know for the last basically for the last 50 years that have been following a certain type of culture and they haven't advanced they haven't changed they haven't advanced in 50 years it's been the same the same circle the same group right there that has not advanced not one bit so it's like you go so far and then you stop when everybody else in the world is steady moving on, the young black youth just stop right here. You know, stop right here. Everybody wants to be a thug. Everybody wants to be a gangster. Every, you know, so you made it like you're terrorizing your own neighborhoods. You got old people, kids can't go outside and play. Old people can't even go to the store because they're afraid. Your mothers, your grandmothers are afraid to go outside after dark you know you you've destroyed your own communities 
because you've been brainwashed by this foolishness out here that that uh keeps you in that same groove you got to break out of it man you got to break out of that madness older guys have just said well wait a minute you know so many so many guys from my era that were you know going through the motions man have done 10 15 20 25 30 years in prison because they got caught up in the whole i want to be a gangster type situation so let me tell you something about trump he's not a gangster what he is is a coward he faked to try to keep from going to to vietnam as people found fake medical paperwork to keep him out of the going for going to the service so but you know he's he's a coward and a liar and a con man he's a thief that's what he is he's actually a thief and uh so if you like thieves hey personally i don't particularly care for thieves because a thief if he'll, he'll steal from somebody else that means he'll steal from me too i don't have no love for thieves i don't so you know you you gotta you gotta understand man uh you know so if you think for one second that somebody like donald trump is gonna do anything for black people on purpose you are sadly mistaken sadly mistaken he's so far far right it's ridiculous what he's done since he was president he has created an environment that's so bad that you have so much hate and so much uh, uh so much uh uh separation going on in this country right now that you know anything anything could happen at any moment you got you know he's a southern sympathizer so when it came down to it what you know what did he do when those people were uh uh were, were, were down there in in charlottesville what did he do he he was talking about oh yeah well we had uh, somebody lost their life and he's like oh we had bad people on both sides no we didn't you had the people that did what they did and a person lost their lives because of the people that you support. You are Andrew, what you say, you said Andrew Jackson was your favorite president. Short history lesson, Andrew Jackson was the president that after Abraham Lincoln got assassinated, uh, he was the one that ushered in, helped usher in all the Jim Crow laws. He was the one that rounded up all the black black Indians and, and the, uh, and the, and the uh, uh, Seminoles and the creek indians and uh made them walk from florida all the way to oklahoma to put them on the reservation and the majority of them died on the way that's who he was he was the one that didn't follow orders that continued the fight between the free the uh, slaves that had escaped that had banded up with the with the uh seminole indians and fought in florida for over 10 years and they and they, and they were winning he had been given orders to stand down, but he kept going back over there again and again. And, you know, so it's like, yeah, that's the president that Trump, like the racist president that all the stuff where black people were supposed to get land after uh, land after after the Civil War. What Andrew Jackson did, he got rid of all of that to where black people were supposed to get that so-called 40 acres and a mule. He got rid of all of that. So what they did was they put something in place for any immigrants that came into the country from Europe. They gave them the land, not the black people that should have got it. They gave them the land. Plus, he gave back land to the to the plantation owners. Gave the land back to the plantation owners. So that's when your sharecropping and all that madness came in, where you had black people that were working for the so-called ex-plantation owners and, and he had a little patch of land and he would give you uh uh, uh like yeah well, you can you can share crop this little piece of land they give you a little piece of land to work but in reality he was the one benefiting from it because when it came time to take the product the cotton the the tobacco or whatever the sugar or whatever was being uh grown on that plantation he would take it and sell it and give you nothing in return or pennies when he was getting dollars so anyway back to trump you uh youth young people 
don't fall for this madness. Don't fall for this stupidity and, and this foolishness. Because like I said before, Trump does not like you. He does not like black people. All you have to do is look at the trials and stuff he's involved in right now. You know, that's another thing they talk about. Oh man, Trump, Trump, look at Trump, man. He got arrested, man. He's going, he going to court. So you can identify with that, but you can't understand that the man hates your guts. He hates you. He hates black people. He has so many lawsuits filed against him in the city of New York because of the, uh, uh, not wanting to rent to black people and not wanting to rent to Puerto Ricans in the city of New York that, you know, he tried to say, Oh, I'll rent to you. If you want to stay in Harlem over here in the, in the roach and rat infested apartments. But when you try to come over here to Manhattan, no, you can't rent here, even though you got the money and you can, you can afford it. He wouldn't rent. So he got hundreds of lawsuits filed against him by black people that he actually lost. And that's when he started filing the bankruptcy to keep from having to pay these lawsuits. So the guy's a thief, that's what he is. He's a thief, he's a bigot. His father was a Klan member, uh, uh, that's documented Klan member to, in New York. And so Trump is an extension of that. He's a racist bigot. He does not like you. So don't fall for the okie doke. All you parents out there, you need to talk to your kids, man. You need to, Ask them, talk to them, and ask them what they think about Trump. And then it's up to you to tell them the truth. Now, you brainwashed adults uh, out there talking about ends for Trump, blacks for Trump, and all that. You know what? You guys can just whatever because you just, just turn your black cards in. Because if you don't understand that this person does not have your best interest in in heart could care less whether you live or die and you're putting yourself out there on the line to uh support somebody that hates your guts i don't understand that i can't get with it and i don't understand how you even fall for that trap how do you call yourself what you are and how do you fall for that madness i don't know i don't know but anyway that's just a few things. And I got I could I could stretch this out to like five episodes, but I'm going to stop right here today. Young black youth, don't be brainwashed by the madness. Don't let these Russian bots and these and these Russian videos that they put up and don't let these uh, uh, narrow minded rappers tell you, oh, man, Trump is cool. Don't be following these cats like Kanye and these all the rest of these uh, brainwashed people that are trying to tell you that Trump is such a good guy. Oh, Trump let Meek Mill out of prison. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, he lets one black guy out of jail, and that's supposed to be something. Come on, man. Wake up. Wake up. The guy was innocent in the first place. All right. KP's video news, y'all. KP's video news, y'all. KP's video news, y'all. KP's video news, y'all. KP's video news, y'all.